Talk to me, what's happened? I've stung my jellyfish on the boom. And what are you asking me to do? We on my <laughs> Emma wants me to pee. Well, we on her boobs, and I'm flat out refusing because I do not want to. But there's loads of these tiny, tiny oh. little jellyfish. We're heartbroken this morning. We've been waiting the last couple of days to do a trip here in Port Barton. We've woken up after a night of horrendous, horrendous rain, and it looks like it finally decided to stop. So we were getting hopeful, but. Look in the in the distance. Grey, grey, grey. We go out today and the weather is like this in grey and shit, then the video is gonna look shit and the visibility under the water for us snorkeling is gonna be shit. But then if we wait until tomorrow there's a risk that it could be even worse tomorrow. So we're really stuck as to what to do. Oh and right now we're just trying to decide whether we take the risk and wait until tomorrow. Or if we just go today in case it's gonna be worse. We really don't know what to do. We don't know what to do, We're guys. We're heartbroken. Feeling pretty dejected. This is like the thing I'm most excited about doing. Snorkeling is oh, my favourite. it's favorite. starting to rain again. Let's get oh. under the shelter. I wanna cry. And maybe this rain is our answer. We've spent for the last half an hour or hour, we've been up since 6.30. Uh, trying to decide. The normal tours here leave at 9 o'clock so we thought by getting up at 6.30 and doing a private tour really early we're going to be able to beat the crowds, we're going to get to go and see everything before the tourists come uh, but it's not turning out that way. No, we um just feeling so gutted because basically we're supposed to leave here in two days. It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow so we don't know what to do. This is why we came. So we have decided that with this rain that this is just not worth doing. We're now going to go and tell them no and we're going to hold out for another day. The last video we went to go and meet Tao from the Travelling Cla and we went and met him and we had an awesome time but we didn't film anything so there's no evidence that it even happened this meeting. He's gone back to Puerto Princesa. They went on their own private tour and it's inspired us that we really want to do our own private one. Uh, they also got to see a dugong but they said it was an amazing experience so me and Em are determined to at least go and try even if yeah. there's a low chance of seeing it. Exactly. <laughs> we're back at our cottage and we're heartbroken and it's still drizzling with rain. It's Anything that stands in the way of me and seeing some turtles is not going to be good. But um, okay, we're going to go and have a lovely little sweep. been back for 10 minutes and now the clouds are breaking and the sun is shining but at the same time we've just heard a big thunder crack so we're really confused we don't know what to do what does it look like Al? sunny over that side not over that side the thunder so loud I, um, I don't know so Alex and I have decided to do a waterfall trek today as we cannot go snorkeling. Um, so we've come to Jambalaya's for breakfast, which we came to last time. It's really cool. We've got these tree houses. There's Alex. <laughs> and yeah, you get to go sit up in a tree house while you have lunch. The most frustrating thing about all of this is that the weather has been basically perfect for the last two days that we've been here and we didn't film yesterday um, there's definitely some regrets <laughs> setting in because the weather forecast now for the rest of our time here is supposed to be terrible uh, I guess we have to learn a little lesson you have to do the things you want to do when the weather is good but on the plus side we're still in paradise even if it rains the whole time we're here we're still here we want to be able to capture this place in all its glory but unfortunately I don't think that's gonna happen okay we changed our minds at the last minute the Sun is just breaking through the clouds we don't care if it rains again and we don't get any more footage we're going on the strip we're doing it I don't give a shit mm -hmm. Wrap my arms around you cause you sweep me up. This is 
This beach is so beautiful, but there's dog shit literally everywhere. You wake up in the morning, <laughs> you have to you have to avoid all the landmines of shit that's everywhere. Ah, oh, which one's our boat? Castaway. There she is, and there's our guide running towards us. This is our lovely boat. That's our tour guide. Um, and we are going to go to some nice islands and hopefully some good snorkel spots. There's room of sea cows, but I think you have to get up really early to do that and the weather wasn't so good. So I think we've missed the sea cow opportunity. So we've never done a private tour before as well. So this is something yeah, new for us. Yeah, we're like we're real, moving up in the well, world. Yeah, we are. I feel like um, we're not budget backpackers anymore. We're moving up. And we're paying for it. We haven't even asked for it for free, which is very unlike us. <laughs> And we're off. Goodbye, Port Barton. Starfish, and then after this, we're going to a sandbar, and it's so silent out here. Look how, look how clear that water is. Oh, wow, look at that starfish. It's a big one. So my first green flag with these guys is that they don't encourage you to take the starfish out of water. I've been to so many tours before, they actively encourage you to lift them out to take photos with them and it's not good for them at all. So yeah, yeah so if you do want to touch them and see what they feel like, just try not to lift them out of the water. Stop number two is a snorkel spot for starfish and also a sandbar. You can't see it very well because it's slightly under the water, but you can walk all the way like round this curve on the sandbar. It's really beautiful. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. The only frustrating thing, uh, having left a bit later, was that we ended up leaving at the same time as the other tours. So we aren't going to get all the spots to ourselves, unfortunately. But however, we're at the sandbar here on this little island. And you can see there's only one other boat apart from us. There's only about three or four people on that boat. It seems the tours here are really small groups of people, so it isn't anywhere near as busy like compared to another island in Palawan like El Nido, which we went to before, and that was a little bit too busy for our liking. It looks like we're in the middle of the ocean, which is, well, we, we so kind of are, <laughs> but there's sand right in the middle, it's so surreal. Uh, I feel like Jesus or something. I can't see. <laughs> More dancing. More. Lots. So we've walked from that little sandbar over there. All of this is like maybe 10 centimeters off the ground. We've just arrived at our next spot, this is Twin Reef. So this is not the turtle spot, but this is where there's lots of coral, 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 co
You look great, Al. Look how great he looks. <laughs> Yeah. This is what I like to call my schnorkel lips. Just show them the normal face. <laughs> it's not that different to be honest. It's like a moustache. <laughs> I know. I got a snorkel moustache. Um, that was amazing. There are so many really, really colourful corals and I don't know what they're called but they look like little twirly pipe cleaner things and they're all different colours. It's quite rare to have such colourful coral when usually these places are so dead. Yeah, yeah, it's actually quite refreshing to see a bit of colour and the schools of fish were really nice. Well, did you just hear the thunder in the background? I did, I'm slightly concerned. We are now at the turtle spot and look at this water, even with the weather that's not that nice at the moment, it still looks amazing. And apparently no matter what, but, um, there's basically always turtles here, so there's usually up to about 10. There's a couple that are immune to the humans, so they will stay around. Um, you can see quite a few people over there. Oh, can you hear the thunder? That's crazy. But yeah, there's a few people over there, so I think that means that they've definitely found a turtle. And life is just a chain A moment spent A thousand hellos and goodbyes Maybe a love like ours Can leave out its call finally stopped. We had to escape and hide out on this island. A bunch of other people obviously have the same idea as us. Um, this is the only shelter we can find anywhere nearby, so this is where we are. The rain is finally subsiding, so hopefully after some lunch we'll be able to do some more snuggling. <laughs> oh, where are you going? We're hunting for sea cows. <laughs> to me, what's happened? I've been stung by jellyfish on the boom. And what are you asking me to do? We on my <laughs> Emma wants me to pee <laughs> we on her boobs and I'm flat out refusing because I do not want to but there's loads of these tiny tiny oh. little jellyfish and we're swimming along and you're getting stung like a little bit <sighs> and then um yeah it's like this thick what? layer uh, and they're all on the top and it's kind of like in Finding Nemo where like there's like oh a jellyfish oh a jellyfish like oh shit jellyfish everywhere so we've had to escape but our guides are I'm still so in there insane. they're looking for uh, like sea cows still immune to it or something I don't understand it's so sore I've actually got like marks on me on my boobs she's got marks on her boobs guys she's got marks on her boobs <laughs> but finding the sea cow well, the dugong is very very elusive so I don't think we're gonna find it today there's something so fun about just looking for wildlife and like uh, just the hope like when you go on safari or something you have the hope of finding an animal like actually not finding it isn't the end of the world because just looking for it is a lot of fun <laughs> and now our guides are also starting to feel the sting and <laughs> the shouted out in pain is one of them now <laughs> 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 I wake up at your place. Wake 
So we are all finished on this tour. And actually, even though the weather isn't ideal, it actually looks really cool from a distance. You've got all of the, um, the mountains covered in mist. It looks quite moody and pretty. Yeah, it, it looks yeah. like paradise when you arrive. And also while we're walking, I have to keep looking down because there is minefields <laughs> of dog poo everywhere, as I mentioned earlier. But the water is unbelievable, considering how much it was raining last night. And Let's stop walking. Today. I don't want to step in poo. <laughs> considering how much it was hitting it down with rain all of last night and all of today. Um, the water is still really clear. You'd expect the uh, visibility to be pretty shocking, but crystal clear. I think I want to come back again and do it again when the weather's nice. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be this time, is it? So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like the video, press the like button. Leave us a comment. Tell us where the best uh, snorkel trip you've ever been on is, because I would like to know some good snorkel spots. And thanks for watching. Beans out. <laughs>